The first steam engine that could do any useful work was invented by Thomas Savory in 1698. It was basically a hollow chamber with a water, uh, steam inlet on the top and water at the bottom and there was this valve stem with these two valves here that would stop the water going downwards and, and this here would connect with the, with the chamber. So here we have it, we've got the boiler connected up to the chamber and uh, which is at present empty and the chamber is connected to the valves and we're going to pump water from down here which represents the bottom of the mine up to here. Right, so I turn the steam on and the chamber will fill with steam. And you see the, the steam is coming out of the top. So I turn the steam off. And now the steam will condense in the chamber, creating a partial vacuum. And the water will be, the, the atmospheric pressure on the water will push it up into the chamber. And you can tell when it's full because it'll be cold. And now I'll turn the steam back on. And you see the water is, is being forced out of the chamber up to the surface. The chamber is now empty of water and is filled up with steam, so we'll start the cycle again. So the chamber is full of water again and we'll turn the steam back on. Now we turn the steam off and the cycle repeats yet again. So we have a very simple steam engine, no moving parts apart from the valves, no complicated engineering. Disadvantage, the, the most you can raise water by atmospheric pressure alone is 30 feet. And although you can push it as high as you like, by the high steam pressure, you couldn't actually generate very high pressure in 1698. Another thing is that it's very inefficient, because most of the energy from your fuel is wasted heating up the water you're trying to pump. I haven't got a thermometer, but this here is cold water straight out the tap. That I could shave in.